All right, y'all, so this is a build I'm doing right now. It's Gate Titan, 16-1 gears, motor, compression kit, SHS piston, 120 spring. This is a KWA, this is an M4, so it's what it sounds like before. See how hard this trigger pull is. Ugh. There's a lot of. But that's gonna give you an idea of what we started with. And I'm gonna go ahead and chrono it, and we'll see what it chrono is. So we're shooting at 320. I tried to do a video of chrono it, but it's hard to hold it, hold the chrono, and do it so y'all know how that is. Anyways, 320. And here we go. We just opened up the gate. That's how a gate comes. So we we'll put it to the side for now. We ain't even need it yet. So we'll get you a nice little curly cue, most aggravating harness you ever seen. The company here in town for that. So on these right here, you got to get behind them and give them a little help. So I'm gonna have to lay in my lap, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a trick. Sometimes when you're trying to get the upper off of a KWA that has this type of setup. Sometimes the piston will get stuck back and it'll block it from coming off. So you just simply fire it until the piston stops forward. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. See the piston will come back here. Sometimes it'll randomly see where it stopped right there. You won't be able to get the upper off. I mean, you could, but it's really hard. But if you just simply fire it, it'll stop in a different spot each time. So it's a little tip for you. All right, y'all. So... We got the pin out, we got the rear pin out, we've got the mag release out. Let me see that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off the grip. saving any of these parts well we'll be giving them back to the customer but we won't be using any of them so so with the gate we can actually use this metal piece we don't have to use the stickers they work really good they reflect really nice so what you do is stick a screwdriver in there to spring, you pop that baby off. You lay this half over there because you're not going to need it for a while. Spring a spring guide, put it right there. Piston. Always look and see if everything's wearing okay. I don't think this thing's been used that much, so. Go ahead and set that to the side. So we're going to put it all to the side. We'll put it in a box and give it, you know. So there's all of his stock stuff. We're gonna get out his cutoff lever. We're gonna put it all in a pile. We're gonna get it all back to the dude. I don't want nobody thinking we are trying to get anything for free from him. I'm gonna examine this gearbox real fast. I'm gonna go clean all these parts up. The gearbox, the spring guide, stuff that we're gonna have to reuse. And I will get right back to you. These are 16 to 1s. This is the stock gears. Right here. That's the stock gears. So, stock gears are going over here in the pile of his stock parts. This right here is the new gears. These are Rockets. This is my favorite brand of gear. 16 to 1. And everybody sees they're going in this build. Oh, first I gotta put bearings in it. Let's get these bearings out. You gotta make sure that they snap in. Just a little bit, not too much. Make sure they're flush. What y'all think? I think that's a real good starting point. Go here. 
back to scrapey. Plus, we're rubbing there, so, and I didn't put a shim on it, of course, just to show you guys. So, they didn't supply shims, so I guess I got it from my so it's fine. But this is how it goes most of the time, so people know that we actually do go the extra mile to make sure y'all get good builds at Battalion. We do make sure. We will put our own parts in them sometimes for customers to make sure they can play that day. We've literally taken our own guns apart and put the parts on customer stuff so they can play. So, this is how we roll, baby. This is how we roll. I'm taking these things apart a million times. So, we're going to need to shim it more, but I just want to show y'all where we're at with it. And I want to see where we're at with it myself. And i got to push in on this little safety latch. There we go. So, here you go. I'll show you. You can actually see by going right here to the axle and pushing it. And then come back to this side. And push it if there's movement on these axles let me see if i can show it from the, from a camera angle here i'm just going to push on this lower one right here see that movement that needs to be shim more can't get to the spur because the selector plate's in the way but i'm just going to take it off all right y'all so i'm going to show y'all what i've done here Got it shimmed to where there's no play and to where it's going to be perfect. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna get a little bit of grease here. And what I usually do is put a little grease on it and then I wipe the grease right back off to where it gets where it needs to be instead of all over everything else gets on the gate it will cause a lot of issues so we're gonna wipe that on then we're gonna spin and we're gonna wipe it right back off then we're gonna pull it off and take the paper towel and wipe all the extra grease off of here where it doesn't sling it onto the gate tight. Who's that? Is that you, Jay? Yep, that's my little man, Jay Dan. All right, y'all. So we got it. We got it shimmed. We got it greased up. All right, so I got it shimmed. Now I have to take the gears back out. Now that they're all shimmed, and we're gonna set up the gate. All right, safety lever, goodbye. It will now have an electronic safety. Yeah, boy. Usually isn't much fitting to do. These KWAs are real nice. They make them so nice for us. Thank you so much, KWA. And this screw, I believe, is the 2.5. No, it's the 2, that's right. So it supplies you with a screw, a washer, and a little fiber washer. It's like fiberglass or something really strong to keep it from shorting out the circuit board. So what you do is put the screw in. Tighten her up. And then you look at it and see, is it protruding? Is it hitting the sec uh, selector plate? It is not, so we don't have to put two. Next, we're gonna route our wires. This can be a little temperamental, aggravating, whatever you wanna call it. This will be the last one to go. So you can push it to the side. The main two that have to get across there is the little baby one here and this big fat daddy. 
So first you want to take them, stick it in like that, stick it in like that. Give it a nice big fat loop to come down and then follow it with the little tiny girl. When you get that little tiny girl down here, I don't know why these are always twisted, but they always are twisted the wrong way. You're gonna grab this and flip it all the way around. Gate will not warranty it if there's any nicks in this stinking wire. Just twist it like this real hard, twist it. Now we'll see if she'll lay down for us. Give it a little push, a little push. It's funny, someone just made a comment on one of my videos. Oh, it's a funny comment, I liked it. All right, so, looks like we're doing pretty good there with the wiring. All right, so what I've done is I've put a little bit of alcohol, now that we got them folded how we want them, on a towel. We're gonna wipe that right there real good so it all sticks nice and nice and nice. We're gonna take this bad boy, and we're gonna push it way down next to that one. Just like that. We're gonna let it dry. I don't care if it takes an hour. You can sit right there and hold it for an hour. This is top secret right here, so. <laughs> That's funny. I said top secret special racing stuff. That is going to keep the motor from rubbing the wiring and causing a short later on down the road. I want to roll it to where the teeth on the segment are back. All right, boys and girls. Next is going to be a speed trigger. This is my newest hobby, y'all. I kind of love doing these. I used to hate doing AEGs, but it's kind of become a hobby now. And it's my it's my newfound hobby that I like. I'm going to assume he probably wants a firm trigger pull. So, there we go. The bottom end's done. Now, we're going to let this be for a minute. We're going to work on the compression setup. It's a little mods. But we're going to pimp it out. So this is what it consists of. Of course, a new piston. Piston, new piston. Stock piston teeth, plastic with one metal. SHS piston, all metal, cut out for the pickup teeth. Voila. Don't want to go crazy because you can strip it. Trust me. Done it. That is your new piston setup. Piston head. Ball bearing. All right. So I'm there. All righty. So now I'm going to check the fitment of the cylinder head, the cylinder, and the gearbox shell. That's a really nice fit. We're gonna call it 48, so that's a 45, so it's at 45. So we'll take a Sharpie, and I'm gonna mark my ruler here at the 45 mark. And that's our all the way in travel. Our all the way out travel is at, I'm going to say approximately 24 millimeters. So we got 45 and 24. Now our goal is to accomplish the same exact travel with the whole new compression setup. And so all the way in is 45. All the way out. Approximately 24. So that's exactly where we want it. 
all the way in. Oops, sorry, I went in the camera was a all the way out. In, out. All right. So, in theory, and by looking at these measurements, there should be no feeding issues whatsoever. So we're gonna take this back out. All right, guys, I'm gonna lube this O-ring on this piston head. Try to create as less friction as possible. And this is not necessary, but we're gonna give the teeth here a little bit, mainly the pickup teeth here. Like I said, this is not necessary. This is necessary. You are going to see how good this thing feels, by the way. Super duper compression. All right, guys and girls. Here we go. We're going to drop into compression. Look at that beauty. Old spring. New spring. New spring is going in here. Show you the old spring. Here's how shorter it is. See it. There you go. So 120 versus the stock. Hopefully the compressor is not so good that he can't use it there because I really don't want to tear back into it. <coughs> All righty. Come on, one snapper. One snapper. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, everything's back in. There we go. Let's go for round two. It may help to put a shims on here instead of going to the trying to find the hole from the top. Sometimes you can just hold that spring down and the piston down right here where I'm holding it right there and it'll all stay in. Although when you get up to 150s and real, real heavy springs for DSGs and stuff, they could probably make you want to throw stuff. Some of the ones I've dealt with have made me kind of aggravated yeah all right let's go for round number two round number two round number two y'all now we got to get our entire reversal latch to agree triggers agreeing and everything else is agreeing looks like we're almost in there Anti-reversal latch. Not agreeing. Why are you not agreeing? Simply the wires. Hm. When you everything in, looking good to me. Let's go ahead and drop us a screw in. This is marking compound. And this lets me know if the build's been into. If I ever get it back, I know if it's been taken apart. It's just a little signature thing that I do. So if you get one of those, and it looks like that, it's definitely built by me. This gearbox is fully ready to rock and roll. personal touch real quick all right y'all this is a test of the fit now so stuck it in there uh, ground it adjusted it you could say some say adjust some say ground i gotta ground a lot more so whatever you want to call it this is what releases the mag pushes in the button pushes the spring and the little catch on the mag and lets the BBs in so y'all like that yeah me too all right so we'll take these wires Give him a little trick. A little trick. Don't tell nobody. I'll drop it in. These CNC motors can be tight. Um, I've had them in the past where they're really, really snug. 
which makes it no fun to put them in. One shot at bending the wires. And gate will not warranty if you bend it the wrong way. See the split right there? You bend it towards the split. Grab it right at the back. Bend it at a 90 degree angle. Same thing here. Uh-oh, my boy said he's going to church with his girlfriend. That's cool. That's good. Good job, son. He said going to church with my girlfriend. All right, y'all. So right here, I'm going to hook the wires up. You can use... Just be careful with needle nose like I'm doing. If there's teeth on them, the best ones are the flat needle nose. I'm going to have to get out of camera range because I can't see. But if you use ones with teeth, it will shred these the heat shrink off the end, which is replaceable. But still, it makes it look like... Just now, I'm going to stick it right there. I'm going to push it down. Push it down. <laughs> so push it down. Sometimes if you yell at it, it helps. That's just the way it is. I don't understand it, but... Tighten up the wires. I'll give you a tip if y'all don't lock tight these. They'll vibrate loose on you. All right. So this, now that my desk is a huge mess, is going to be our first test fire. So we want to make sure nozzle's coming back. And it's at throttle. Okay. Finish. Throttle. I love it. Sounds great. We're going to give it a test fire over the chrono next, and we'll do some settings on the Oh, gone, that's a tight plug on the um, flu link. So, we're getting really close to being done. Right down the center. Just move it in slowly. If it doesn't go like that, it's not right. So that's, a, that's what a 30K motor. Um, it's a 16 to 1 build, so I wouldn't go much higher than a 30. I mean, you could probably drop a 35 in there. I mean, hey, you could drop whatever you want in there, but if you want it to last, you don't want it to work its butt off. All right. So we got our bucket heat on tight. Let me go ahead and put his stock back on. Get to that. Just try to eliminate as many parts being in the way as possible. And tuck that down in there for now. And go ahead and do the upper. We'll leave this open right now so I can adjust the trigger. <laughs> this is where it becomes a little fun. Sometimes aggravating is making it make sure it feeds and all. Um, it's not like it's hard. It just can be temperamental. And you're going to need to remove your back pin now that you got everything aligned to put your upper on. If that baby comes out like that, you see how easy that pin come out? That means she's aligned, y'all. Don't let nobody tell you different. Just gotta give it a good old whack. And this is a battalion build. This is built for customer at battalion. This is not um, one that I'm doing on the side or anything. It's just straight up battalion airsoft arena build. So if you like this build and you want to get something similar, hit me up or come to Battalion and pick out your parts. And we have people there to help you kind of figure out what you need. A good one to ask for help is Justin. He can tell you exactly what parts you need and what kind of builds that I like to do and what all works with what. And... Um, put you right in the right direction so go see justin tell me you've seen this video and you want a mean gene papa peen build or a mean papa peen screen build or you want one that's better than any other competitor in jacksonville build now let's get this trigger right for this filler
Let's get this trigger just right. So I'm gonna dig out my blue link here. If you don't got a blue link, you need to get a blue link. Let me plug that baby into the back right there. See that? Let me plug that baby in right there. And this is where I gotta go get a different device because I can't do the blue link with y'all in my way. So got the blue link hooked up and now I'm adjusting this trigger. So we got a little travel. That's how you gotta have some travel. People set them really tight and you can, but if you don't lock tight them, they will back off and cause you major issues. Oh, that's a little tight. A little tight. See there, it's firing right now. You don't want it to fire. I'm gonna give him enough to where he has some movement. And there we go. So we got pre cocking off, rate of fire, control off. Now I'm gonna go to general and we're gonna be on normal speed. That's a we're going to be okay right there. Adaptive braking, warnings and info. Let's check our selector. We got safety, semi, auto, da da da. Semi. We got safe semi auto, burst. I think we're good. Let me check diagnostics. We don't have anything wrong. So we're fixing to go do a test fire. All right, y'all. The very last step I've done here is I put a little Loctite on the trigger screws after I set the trigger so we're about short pull so we can go ahead and lock down the trig now and there we go now we're gonna take it outside and test it out. actually we're gonna crown on all right so this is the build I'm trying to finish here I'll show you what it looks like here this is my, uh, this is a customer for Battalion. So this is a Battalion build. Now, we started off at 320 on Chrono. You can see we've gained about 60 feet per second. A little more than 60 feet per second, which is really good, I think. So now, I'm gonna give it a Right outside today. Let's go against this tree right here. Woo. Sounds painful to me. And we empty. There you go. You ready to rock.